The required material for capillary sampling is the following. Lancet, sample tube. Before proceeding with the withdrawal of blood from a finger, it must be massaged and heated. Clean the tip of the finger with disinfectant and let dry. The presence of alcohol residues on the skin could cause rapid hemolysis. Keep the finger still to prevent sudden movement and puncture the tip of the finger in a lateral position using a sterile disposable lancet with a retractable point. Remove the first drop of blood with the sterile gauze. To improve the flow of blood, keep the finger pointing down and massage it. Avoid pressing the pad near the withdrawal site in order to prevent hemolysis and an unnatural distribution between plasma and cells. Quickly proceed with the withdrawal of blood sample using a sterile disposable capillary. Touch the drop of blood that forms on the tip of the finger multiple times with an end of the capillary until filling about half of the length of the capillary. To facilitate the passage of the blood sample into the tube, hold the tube with the capillary inserted and give it a few taps from top to bottom. Finally, remove the capillary and gently shake the tube for a few seconds. It is now possible to perform the analysis on the macro semi CRP. It takes only 5 minutes from a capillary microsampling to an accurate and reliable CBC plus CRP results with the new macro semi CRP.